In this animation, we'll be learning the process of pyrosequencing. Pyrosequencing is based on the generation of light signal through release of pyrophosphate or PPI on nucleotide addition. Now as one each nucleotide will be added, it will generate some light. Depending upon the intensity of light, we can determine uh, the type of nucleotide that is added. And that's how we can sequence the DNA. So let's begin. Now here we are having a DNA sequence added another primer at the end. Then we put RNA polymerase there to synthesize it. So it should be DNA polymerase, sorry for that. It should be DNA polymerase and after adding the DNA polymerase it will move and what it will generate is a strand. Now as it is adding the nucleotide sequence, so let us show one nucleotide. So after adding the nucleotide sequence, it will generate PPI or inorganic phosphate, which will be added with APS or ammonium persulfate, and it will generate ATP and sulfate. Here sulfate is not shown. Now the generation of ATP is very important. Now this ATP will go and it will attach to luciferin. In the presence of the enzyme luciferase, it will oxidize this luciferin substance into oxyluciferin. Now this oxyluciferin can generate light. Now the light can be detected by a detector and the intensity of light is corresponding with the type of sequence we are dealing. 